Hello students, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to learn about an addition reaction of alkene or we can also say preparation of alcohols. The first method of preparing an alcohol from alkene is acid catalyzed hydration. In this video, we are going to see how acid catalyzed hydration is done. An acid catalyzed hydration of alkene follows Markovnik of addition and uh, we see very clearly in this particular reaction uh, the Markovnik of rule is followed. So when we say the Markovnik of rule is followed we see very clearly that the negative part of the addendum adds to the carbon atom that has the least number of hydrogen atoms and uh, uh, we can see in this particular case that across the double bond uh, both the double bonds, both the carbon atoms of the double bond are uh, symmetrical. So it is immaterial on which side uh, the OH group goes. So uh, it could be on carbon on top or on carbon at the bottom. But then we must remember this addition reaction happens according to Markovnik of addition. And we have to note down that the acid catalyzed hydration happens only in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid and not in the case of concentrated sulfuric acid. So next we will see the mechanism of this particular reaction. So when you see the mechanism of the reaction, the first step is the generation of the carbocation. So how does a carbocation is, forms? Uh, it is actually the reaction of the alkene with that of the hydronium ion. So the, the water which is the used as the catalyst uh, in a, sorry the dilute acid which is used as the catalyst has water in it and so it generates the hydronium ion and this hydronium ion is the one which is reacted upon by the alkene. So the alkene attacks the hydrogen atom of the hydronium ion and uh, as a result uh, the hydrogen gets attached. So this is actually a electrophilic addition reaction that is uh, an electrophile is being added to the double bond so this reaction is also called as electrophilic addition reaction and in this first step we see that the carbocation is formed so the second step is the attack of the nucleophile so the nucleophile is nothing but the neutral water molecule which is formed uh, will further attack the carbocation uh, to form an intermediate and this intermediate will then deprotonate to form the respective alcohol. So from an alkene, we can form an alcohol through a carbocation intermediate. And this reaction is called as hydration reaction because it is H2O wherein H and OH are added to the two sides of the double bond. So one side you have the OH added and other side the H is being added and that is why this reaction is called as hydration reaction. So in this case the bond that is not mentioned is hydrogen here which was added in the first step. So this is a simple reaction of addition of water to an alkene to form an alcohol using a catalytic quantity of dilute acid. So now let us see some of the other parameters of, of this particular reactions. First case why dilute acid and why not a concentrated acid. So when a concentrated acid is used this reaction is undergoing reversible reaction and then it results in again elimination. So here you see elimination of OH group or water happens leading to the formation of the starting material. So if we use concentrated acid, the concentrated acid will convert the alcohol that is formed to an alkene or in other words no reaction would happen. So that is why dilute acids are used for conversion of an alkene to an alcohol in a hydration reaction. The next parameter that we will see is the regiochemistry. So the regiochemistry of this particular reaction is uh, more prominently seen uh, only when you have two different carbon atoms across the double bond. In, this, in the earlier case, the carbon atoms were equivalent. In the earlier case, we had the carbon atoms uh, which were similar. 
whereas in this case both carbon atoms were same whereas in this case this carbon 1 and carbon 2 are different so because they are different now the question arises where will the um, uh, electrophile go so it is an electrophilic addition reaction now in this ca particular case in case of water we all we studied in the previous case H plus and OH minus is the group that is going to add to the double bonded carbon atoms so now as per Markonic of addition what did we say the negative part will add to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atoms so this carbon 1 is having the least number of hydrogen atom and the negative part will add to that carbon so this is 1 this is 2 1 2 so two possibilities are there but then as per our Markonic of addition we will see that this product will be the major product and not this one. So what is the reason? It is because of Markonic of rule. And number two, why does that Markonic of rule happen this way? Why is it uh, that this carbon atom is more preferred over this and the product formed is different? It is simply because of the formation of the carbocation. So even when the double bond is attacking the proton we see there is a carbocation that is formed and this carbocation that is two possible carbocations can be formed when the hydrogen goes and attaches if the hydrogen goes here if the hydrogen goes here we get two different types of carbocation but between these two carbocations we see this carbocation that is the carbocation on carbon one has is a tertiary carbocation whereas a carbocation on the other carbon atom is a secondary carbocation and we all know the stability of the carbocations this the secondary carbocation is less stable than the tertiary carbocation because the secondary carbocation is less stable than the tertiary carbocation we see that this is the preferred intermediate when compared to this so this intermediate will lead to the formation of the desired product which we saw in the previous slide which is OH here and then hydrogen here. So the OH adds to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atoms and this is as per the Markonic of rule and this is called as regioselectivity of this particular compound and this regioselectivity is more favorable because of the formation of carbocation and because carbocation is formed one other property also is seen in this particular case and this is the product as i told you will be the uh, preferred product and similarly we see another example so in the second example too this is an acyclic system but then again if you see the two carbon atoms this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 so carbon 2 is uh, less um, uh, uh, substitute sorry uh, is more substituted carbon 2 is less substituted and so the negative part will go to carbon 1 and that is how we get the product this and this as the product so the it is very clear that whenever you are uh, having a reaction of an alkene in the presence of uh, acid to form an alcohol it follows Markonic of rule and another important parameter that we are going to see now is if there is a possibility of rearrangement then the reactant would undergo rearrangement it is simply that this we have always seen that whenever we are having a carbocation there is a possibility of rearrangement so this example that I have put down here is an example of a uh, two sets of products one is uh, this is uh, one and this is having two hydrogen atoms so we know as per Markonic of addition negative part will go to the carbon this is carbon one carbon two so the expected product is this one two addition okay but then what we get as a ma major product is something entirely different this product is entirely different that is 
on a car the OH group had gone to a carbon atom which is not a doubly bonded carbon. How could this happen and what could have happened? And we have always studied in SN2 mechanism or SN, sorry, SN1 mechanism that rearrangement is possible. So similarly, here also we see whenever a carbocation is formed, there is a possibility of rearrangement to form a stabler carbocation. So in this particular case, what you see here as a carbocation, so the H3O plus adds and here we have the hydrogen and then the carbocation is formed. This carbocation does not then react with the OH group. It does not immediately react with the OH group. It doesn't react. Rather, it undergoes a hydride shift. So there is a neighboring hydrogen atom and this hydrogen atom shifts on to this carbon atom and it shifts here and as a result the positive charge shifts positive charge shifts to the carbon where that was wearing the hydrogen atom and this kind of shift of hydrogen from one carbon to another carbon is called as 1 comma 2 hydride shift so when the proton shifted the carbon acquires a positive charge and that carbon is actually a tertiary carbon atom so earlier a secondary carbocation was formed now you see it is a tertiary carbocation so tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation so that is why what would happen is this shift would happen and this shift will result in the formation of the product. So this carbocation is formed and then this results in the formation of the product. So this is a rearranged product. Okay, this product is obtained due to the reason of rearrangement. So earlier expected product was the one to product but rather we got a product which was entirely different. So this kind of rearrangement is a possibility when we are doing hydration of alkenes in the presence of a acid. The next important thing is about understanding the stereochemistry of this particular reaction. So again, we know carbocation is a intermediate that is formed in this particular reaction. So there, whenever you have a stereochemically uh, or optically active products form, there is a question of whether they are enantiomers or whether you get a set of uh, only, only one enantiomer or a different enantiomer. So, but then here in this particular case, both types of enantiomers are possible if in case the product is a optically active one. So here we see in this case, this carbon atom where the OH group is bonded is actually a chiral carbon. So because it is chiral carbon, we will either have the R or S isomer. So the possibility here in this case is the mixture of two enantiomers. In the sense, we get a racemic mixture. Now the question is, why is it we will get a racemic mixture when we are doing addition reaction of alkenes in the presence of acid catalyzed. The simple answer is again we go back to the formation of carbocation. The carbocation as we all know is actually a sp2 hybridized species in the sense it has it is a planar molecule. We see the molecules all the atoms are on the plane. So there is a possibility for the group to attack from either above or below the plane. So because there is a possibility of the OH group to attack from above or below the plane, both the isomers are possible or both the enantiomers are possible. And as a result, we will get a racemic mixture. Racemic mixture means equal mixture of plus and minus isomer or plus and minus isomer or we say R or S. And as a result, what we conclude is the stereochemistry of addition reaction of alkenes in the presence of acid catalyst results in optically inactive products. 
Thus, in summary, what we see is first the addition reaction follows Markovnikov addition, so it is having a regio selectivity onto which carbon atom the negative part of the addendum will go. Number two, the mechanism occurs via carbocation formation, and this carbocation formation leads to rearrangement if possible. And because it is following carbocation formation, if an optically active product is formed, you get a racemic mixture. So here are few examples which you can try and work out to get to know this particular set of reaction better. All the best. Thank you.